starts to count down. There we go. We get in. We're live. All right, we're live here. Yeah. All right, so technical difficulties here. We're getting just a few minutes uh, started late here on this one. It's twelve oh eight, but typically we are very punctual. So we're going to get straight to the point because I know there's thousands of you right now that are tuning in, and you're like, man, we've been chomping at the bit to get working out and everything. So. Lovely ladies are going to join us today. They're actually going to be the workout people in the background, smiling the whole entire time, enjoying every single step of this along the way. So we are going to go for the full 30 minutes. So if you can join us until 1240, stay on here. If you have to tune out, you can tune back in a little bit later on. So we're going to get started first here. If you want to look at it, this is the actual workout that we'll be doing. It's first steps to get to the strength side of things, and then we're going to be at the home stretch. So the first thing the lady's going to be doing here in this one is start off just a simple little knee hug. Some of you, if you're in an open area, you can go walking and hugging uh, the knees here on and all, but just simple little hugging the knees, about six reps here total, so three on each side with it. And then you're going to simply go into what we call our single leg deadlift here in this one. So it's just a little bit of balance. If you've been sitting all day at the office, you've been sitting in the car, riding around, running errands and stuff and everything, doing your last second Christmas shopping. So it's working on the stability, it's turning on the core, it's kind of loosening up the hamstrings, the things that people say, hey, this is it's always so tight on me here. So they're going to simply go just for six on each leg. And if you notice, they're not locked out legs. It's not... Here, we don't have sticks for legs. So you gotta have a soft knee here, soft little bend in things. And then they're just gonna transition into what we call our shoulder touches. So this is getting down onto the floor, first little bit here. Just kind of start to turn the muscles on. And we're gonna do slow and steady there. And thank you, just keeping the hips as still as possible. And we're doing, again, just six reps here. This isn't anything time consuming. It isn't anything to try to like smoke you from the start and leave you completely exhausted before we even kick off things here a little bit. As they come back up here, we're moving into just like a reverse lunge. So now when we start trying to just to open up the hips again, if you've been sitting, you've been sitting in the car, been sitting at the office here on this one, you can hear them underneath, they're, 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 they're synchronizing here back and forth here. They're, they're making sure they're gonna be on the same page with it all. So they reverse lunge here, six on each side, they're going 12 total. And then the big grand finale that we're about to get into is what we call our inchworm. Perfect here on this one. So we go in our inchworm. Now this kind of like puts it all together here for us. Kind of loosens up the hamstrings, starts to turn on the upper body, turns on the core, if you will, here on this one. Keeping it pretty simple. Now some of you might have some wrist issues. Uh, you might have some lower back issues that you might have to kind of modify things on this just a little bit. That's fine. Maybe you just kind of bend over, reach down to touch the ground, stretch out the hammies just a little bit, and making sure that we're turning on, again, the core and the upper body as we're about to kind of get into the full-on work here for you. What are we doing on time? How long are we going for? Boom. You got it. So there's two of you live right now. If you, those of you who are live, if you've got questions, obviously fire them out there. Keith is back behind the camera. He can help you answer out or he can holler out to me if you do have something pressing here for you. So what we did is... I know you may not have the dumbbells laid next to you, but we've asked the ladies here to grab some dumbbells that are relatively, you know, heavy, so to say. So they both grab 15s here. So if you're just starting out, maybe you can grab some eights. If you're really into it, you can go for the 20s or the 25s. What we're working on first is a simple full body move here with a squat and a curl. They're gonna go for 30 seconds here on this one. You too as well, if you're at home, you're gonna be doing this as well. But it's 30 seconds here on these that they're going for. And it's just simple, slow, and controlled. This isn't trying to crank it out and just be crazy with it and do as many as you can possibly do in that 30 minutes. But what we're looking at on this is level change. Level change meaning like you're in an elevator, you're going up and down. The more up and down, so to say, that we do, the more you get huffing and puffing. Perfect, you got about eight seconds left here for it. <laughs> Let's go one more time right here, and we're just gonna set them all down. So as we wrap up here, the first little move on this one, we're gonna kind of have like a 15 second little intermission, a little break, if you will. The ladies are just gonna kind of kneel down because they, they cheat it. They know what the, the work is coming ahead here for it on there. But you got about five seconds left. We're gonna go into some plank reaches here. All right, so go ahead. We're gonna go into 30 seconds on the plank reaches. Go for it. We'll start just the reach. Thinking, can we keep the hips as still as possible? Again, if you're just starting out with all this stuff here and you start to feel it in your lower back when you reach the hands out in front of you, simply hold it still have to widen your feet up some just a little bit wider here that's going to help kind of stabilize everything through the hips if you want to make it more of a challenge you start to bring your feet just a little bit closer ultimate challenge is to really reach out there as far out as you possibly can you got about five seconds left here for you three two 
One, good, you got it. And we're standing right on up here for you. So next, we're gonna move into a little bit of a shuffle. We're gonna kind of move side to side. Why? Because we don't move side to side enough. So the ladies have already kind of picked out the distance that they're gonna be going here on the floor. We're going over from line to line here. If you're maybe in a tight space, short enough, a couple of steps here for you. 30 seconds, three, two, one, we're going. So it's just over and back. And overachieving like they're doing. As far as touching the floor with the opposite hand. Last 10 seconds here for you. So again, you can kind of see a little bit of the level change when they shuffle from side to side. They're dropping down and coming right back up. And relaxing right here, perfect, good. So next we're moving into here, if you kind of just go back to the board, we're dropping down to this WGS, what we call the world's greatest stretch. So as opposed to us standing around and talking for, for 45 seconds, we're gonna drop into this stretch here for you on this. So whatever knee is down on the ground, that same hand is down on the ground. And it's just a big swooping motion here on this one. So we're kind of opening up the hips, opening up the upper upper back area here for you. And we're hanging out on one side. We're not doing two sides. Uh, we're just going to do just this one side. Next time around when we come back to this here, we'll drop down and we'll do the other side if we can remember which leg that we did this first time around here for you. So about five more seconds here for you. Last one. You got it right there. Boom. So from here, that's it. That's the end of round one here. And we're just going to simply kind of walk back through all that all over again with it all. So we're going to go with that uh, squat, the curl, the plank reaches, the shuffles, and then back into our stretch all over again here for you. So ladies, we're going to get started in three, two, one, go for it. Ooh. Just making sure that we're breathing in on the way going down, we're pulling all out, and the way coming right on back up. If you're doing this at home, again, or if you're at the office or you're in a gym somewhere along those lines, maybe grab a couple of dumbbells, you know, sets of dumbbells, keep them beside you that maybe you start off ambitiously and you got to kind of drop it down some just a little bit as we go through it. Most important thing is maintaining a good, you know, kind of technique throughout the whole time there. Last five seconds. Last one. Boom. You got it right here. Settle down. Again, 15 second little rhythm. And we're going to go back into those plank reaches as we're going back and forth here for you on this one. So pick a point out in front of you. You've got about seven seconds left here. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Big reach, big reach, big reach. Cross the side of the <laughs> Keep getting me up close on the side of the level. Ooh, 15 seconds left here for you. 15 seconds left. Got it. last 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Good. You got 15 second breather. Now's that chance to kind of take a slow, deep, deep, deep breath right here. We're kind of slowly walking over there to the side. Going back to the shuffles. You got five seconds left here. All right, we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Got seven of you live and live in person. Hopefully, if you are doing the shuffling and you're in your office and you don't want to get up from your desk to shuffle, this might make you feel a little guilty if you're sitting there, maybe even snapping on something the whole time. While they're working out, you can sit back and watch them. Last 10 seconds. Finish back over here. Three, two, one. You got it. So 15 seconds we're even. We can remember last time around we were on that left leg. Let's put the right leg back this time around here. So right knee down on the ground, right hands down on the ground. Again, just kind of that big swooping motion here for you. This one. You got it right here. And if you can see here too as well, it's just like we want kind of a little bit of an exaggerated step here on this one. So we want to make sure that you step out in front of you so we can start to really open up the hips. And then with this swoop in motion, as she goes down right here, really start to kind of get the back involved with it there. Two more big swoops here. Boom. You got it right there. Perfect. All right, so standing right on back up. We always like to say superior athletes, overachievers do three rounds here on this one. So we're taking about a little 15-second break, and we're going to pop right back into this here for you on this one. So this is the... You lose Italian, you tell me. No, you're all good. 
All right, so repeating back through again, man, if the, the, the technique started to break down last time around here, now's a chance to kind of drop down the, 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 the dumbbell. It's humbling to do so, but you know what? At the end of the day, your shoulders, your backs, your knees, everything's going to thank you for it all. So back into that squat and curl again here for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Squat down. Breathe in on the way going down. Blow it all out on the way coming right back up. For those of you who are live right now, if you think they're actually doing a good job, you can give them a thumbs up. You can give them a, a fist bump there. You can, you can give them two, one. Good. Set them all down right there. 15 second break. We're going to go back into the plank reaches there for you. Now's the time as we're huffing and puffing that we, that we want to make sure that we have the feet nice and wide. The hips are nice and still as we go through these reaches. All right, we're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Again, if you're partaking at home, you start to feel the pressure in the lower back, you start to feel any pains in the shoulders or anything along those lines right there, simply just hold the arms still. I mean, just planking in that position is going to be hard enough. You need to kind of regress it, to kind of take it back a notch from there, put the knees down on the ground and just rest them to the elbows. You are giving the same work. Last five seconds here for you, last five seconds. Three, two, one, you got it right there. Perfect. So we're kind of walking it right back over again to the shuffle. So we're going back from side to side. All right, we're ready. We're going to start it in three, two, oh, yeah, one. That's Let's go. Be. Yeah, you're going to see behind you. She yeah. started before you, so she's going back to the superstar over there. Hey, I'm okay. <laughs> He's not even moving. You can actually just wait right now. <laughs> Always living dangerously. It's like Frogger. 15 seconds left here, 40, 15 seconds left. So we're wrapping up here with the, the first, you know, kind of like group A, so to say. So we're going to stretch this out on both sides. We're going to spend 30 seconds here stretching on one side. Let's show this. So a lot of times if you're at the gym, you know, you stand around, you kind of pick up the phone, you start kind of scrolling through, you kind of start to waste a little bit of time. Like this is one of the best things that you can do is use your time so efficiently that, you know, you're stretching and you're working out all at the same time versus kind of standing around and, and chit-chatting or scrolling through your knees. Right, open arms to the other side there. Same thing on the opposite side. Shift forward there. Like there's a thing that that knee. You're just going to yeah. go straight, straight ahead. Oh, okay. There you go. You got it right there. And with the stretching, we're not trying to rush through it. You're not trying to make, you know, significant gains. You're just trying to, one, slow down the breathing a little bit, start to loosen things up, start to feel better here. Because so many times it's like we trash ourselves in a workout, we get done, and we feel like crap afterwards at the end, you know. And so it's like let's take some time to try to truly feel better and, and look at this and say this is something that is sustainable for the long term, not just hey, I'm going to feel good for the next five minutes, and when I get home later on today, I'm going to feel like a train wreck with it. So let's spend some time kind of open up the hips, open up the back, the things that are like key to helping you feel good. All right, so go ahead and stand right on back up. So we move into this next group here, and I'll kind of explain to you here onto this one. So we're in this next group B here. So simplicity, A, group B here. So this group B, we're going to reverse lunge. We're going to go into some dumbbell rows. We're going to do some crawling on the floor, and then we're going to be standing up just a little bit and stretching out the lats and stuff and everything because those are the things that, you know, again, not too many people spend a lot of time in stretching on, but it's super tight kind of causes a lot of like low back pains and stuff and everything for you. So as they grab hold of the dumbbells here on this one, just very simple, stepping back and reverse lunge. Keep the dumbbells down by your side here for you on this one, and we're going to do that same thing. 30 seconds, yeah, alternate steps here on this one. So as we just go back here on this one, you got it. Shoulders up there nice and tall. And the key things, if you can zoom in here on this, key, is, is watching their feet. So we're going, can we make sure the whole foot stays flat? Because a lot of times people want to push up onto their toes and they think that's this, and they're like, oh, my knees hurt. And you say, well, yeah, because you're jamming your toes and then you're jamming your knee all together here and it just doesn't feel comfortable. The more that we push through the heel, the more you get to use the glutes, the butt, whatever it is that you want to, to call it by here, it just feels better here for you. Last five seconds. Three, 
two, one, good. You can set them on down just for a second, so we're about to just reuse them all over again. The next move, we're going to go into a dumbbell row is we have almost that same lunge position, and we're just going to be rowing it right on up and then right on back down. Again, for just 30 seconds, find them a simple little steady tempo that they can maintain. Again, this isn't about going all out as fast as you possibly can. It's about maintaining good flat back, slow, steady tempo here for you on this, and working through the full range of motion. Don't shortchange it here for you on this. All right, so ready? Here we go. Drop it all the way down. 30 seconds. Boom. You got slow and control. These do start to add up here. Some of this is a little bit. You got the camera for witness that we watch back and play back later on. You got it. We're only 10 seconds in. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. 10 seconds left here, boys. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, you got it right there, perfect. All right, we're going to move over to the side a little bit here. So actually, we'll do this here. So, Cassie, use just between these lines. Okay, you can use this line to this line over here for you on this one. And Keith, you probably bet if you go right into the middle here. Okay. But we're simply going to be just working a lateral crawl here for you on this one. And it's just working over here to the line, and then we're going to work it right back over there to the side. 30 seconds there, we're just going to go over and back here for you. All right, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Slow control. Goal is to keep the knees down just as low as we can. Keep the hands up underneath the shoulder. Ten seconds in. Here it is. Right back over again there with it. Perfect. Last five seconds here. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. What you got right here. Go ahead and stand right on up right here in this one. So this next time around, what you do is just find an open space on the wall. It doesn't matter where it's at, even if you have to use a piece of equipment to kind of put the hand up on here. But inside foot closest to the wall is going to be forward, inside hands up, and it's just simply just going with a big reach up over the top of the head. So we're thinking about stretching out the, the back here, kind of into the last, into the back of the side of the arms, and even getting down kind of into the hips just a little bit here with it all. It's like they're at a rock concert and maybe going swaying or side to side with the music with it. <laughs> exactly what you were thinking, wasn't it? And again, it looks easy because they're pretty flexible on it all, but some of you, again, if you sit for a living and you've kind of been hunched over, when you go to stretch out, you start to realize, man, how tight it is for you. All right, go ahead and relax right there. Taking that little bit of a breather. Remember, only in the first round, we're only going to be stretching one side. Next round, we'll come back and stretch to the other side. And then last round, we'll hit both sides as we go through all this. But we're going to repeat back through all again there, the reverse lunges, the rows, the crawls, and the stretch. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Boom. Shoulders up nice and tall. Think, breathe in on the way going down. Blow it all out on the way coming up. Good. Make sure the front foot stays flat as possible. Keep the shoulders up tall. 12 seconds left here for you. 12 seconds left. Back and forth on you got five seconds left here for you. Three, two, one. Good. Just set it down for a second. Kind of keep your hands just a little bit of a breather. We do have left foot four, right foot four last time. Right. Okay. So we're flipping it around here. Look, even we, even the, the professionals get confused sometimes around here on this one. So just put that left foot forward. All right, here we go. You ready? That same thing again here. Just a big, slow range of motion here, boy. Three, two, one. Here we go. All the way up, all the way down. So Keith, can we over here on this one? So what you'll see, when people start to get tired, short changes, don't let this go down. So people short change, they don't let the shoulders actually drop down with them because they start to get tired and let them drop down. Now you can see, actually, she starts to go through that full range of motion. It's almost like a big stretch, like somebody's pulling her hands down to the floor. You got last eight seconds here for you. Yeah. Just watch break something. Three, <laughs> three, two, one. You got it right there, perfect. Step on down. We'll go back into the crawls here again, we're going side to side. Why are we going side to side on the cross? Because we always go forward and backwards, and might as well go ahead and go side to side just to keep it interesting for yourselves here. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Slow control, slow control. The knees stay down low. And there are different ways that you can crawl. You can do it today. We're just keeping it simple, which is going to the hands side by side as they go crawling apart here. You can do a little crossover, a little karaoke, so to say, with, with the hands. Got last five seconds here. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. You got it. Come back up to the wall again here. Same thing you just with that stretch. A rock concert stretch. 
backs here for you. Yeah, we're gonna flip around, face the other way here for you on this one. All right, here we go. Just slow, big reaches for you. Slow, slow, slow reaches over the top of the head here for you. So I think when we're when we're doing this here with this stretch, a lot of times when we do stretch, we stretch everything up and down. Like when you see people, they stretch their hamstrings and then they, they do this one and then they get really funky when they do that one and then they'll put their foot up on the edge of the, the curve and they'll kind of do that whole you know stretch here on this one. Because you have to understand, like the muscles in the body run all different directions here on this one. We've got to make sure that we're keeping them, I think, agile in all planes of motion in all different directions. Think about a little kid and how they can move freakishly in all different directions. All right, go ahead, last right here. Slowly kind of walking back into it here. We're going to be kicking off here, third round against superior athletes. We like to say do three rounds. Average Joes do two and senior citizens do one, but we say that you're not a senior citizen until you're at least 100 years old, so everybody's got to do three. You've got to put it in there. You're not anywhere close to it at all whatsoever here. All right, here we go. Ready? Last round here on these. Three, two, one. Let's go. Shoulders up there nice and tall. As you start to get tired, late stages here, hanging on these dumbbells really do start to add up. You're going to start to kind of want to fall forward. Shoulders going to start to round forward, start to get sloppy, push through the toes. You have to think about the body's wonderful at like compensating and figuring out how to like make things as as easy as possible and the and the muscles that should be working that want to like just shut down and kind of be lazy like your teenage kid that just wants to sit on the couch all day long and stuff it's like we're trying to fight that right now it's like do the right things get up early make your bed do all the important stuff that you're supposed to be doing here last two steps right here set them on down just for a second here and i shake the hands off a little bit so on this one here, this one, at about halfway point, we're just going to switch the feet and then just keep rolling here. All right, here we go. You ready? Picking it right on up here. Three, two, one. Let's go here. 15 seconds, slow control, big range of motion. Big range of motion. Obviously, it makes it a little bit more challenging versus sitting down on a bench or kneeling down on a bench. Perfect. Good. We're going to go back into the side and a little lateral crawls here for you. Easy. Easy, easy, easy here. All right, here we go. Ready? We'll start again. Three, two, one. Let's go. Slow little creeping over, slow little creeping back. Ten seconds. Last five seconds here for you. Three, two, one. You got it right there. All right, stand right up there. We're gonna go kind of just thirty seconds each side here on the last big range of motion. All right, here we go. Thirty seconds. Big reach up here. Slow and controlled here for you on this one. So as we start to round this out here on this one, I mean, kind of per my watch, we're on about the, the 20 second mark here, maybe a little bit, I mean, 20 minute mark with it. We're gonna kind of start to, to kind of like, I think hit the home stretch with it and, and start to challenge them, I think just a little bit at the end to say, now we're really gonna truly start to huff and puff a little bit. We've been doing all the strength stuff, we've been warming up, and now we get to finish on a high note. So as we flow through it all, look, we always say first step is just kind of getting you moving into it. The strength stuff is the evergreen, the stuff that you're always going to do. You need to put into your, your, your regular routine. We need to be focusing a lot on this stuff. And then what we're about to kind of get into is what we like to call our home stretch. Just things that finish you off. They don't exhaust you, 
they, they, they stretch you a little bit. They challenge you a little bit. Because I think when we look at it and say, you know, it's, it's great to be exhausted, but, you know, if you're in college and exhausted, you can go home and take a nap. But in, re in real life, like, if you're exhausted from your workout at, you know, 5.30 in the morning or now, right now, at a lunchtime workout, you go back to the desk and then you're done with. Like, you, you can't mentally focus. You know, you're, you're thinking about something else that's supposed to be happening, and then you're like, man, I'm, I'm too tired to even get up and get moving here. So we're going to finish up with some fun stuff here, some simple shuffles, what we've done already. But now we're going to tell them to push the pace. They're going to work for 10 seconds. They're going to rest for five. We're going to do that four times in a row. And then we're going to get a little bit of a wall stretch here for them at the, at the very end. So we're going to go back to those shuffles again. And we're going to start to see, you know, them push the pace here for you. You at home, again, if you've got about probably maybe four yards here or so, maybe a little bit wider, we'll really start to push the pace. Ten seconds of work, five seconds of rest here. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds only, boom. Perfect. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, right there. Five second breather. Don't even walk around, just kind of stay there. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Four of these in a row. Four of these in a row, and then we'll get the stretching going on. Three, two, one. Good. Right here, five seconds. Bring it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. You got two more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Right here. One more, then we're going to be stretching up against the wall here for you. Ready? Three, Two, one, go. Five seconds left. You got five seconds left. Three, two, one. You got it right here. So we're going to give you a nice long recovery. We're going to take about 90 seconds here for you. Yes, we only work for one minute. And now we're going to take a nice long little breather. So we're going to move into this wall stretch here. We're going to be working on kind of just opening up the chest. One, you're huffing and puffing here a little bit. But stand a couple of, about a foot or so off the wall here on this one. And we're going to simply take the hands. And it's going to be a slow reach up. So when we're reaching up here on this one, obviously you can start to feel a lot of the tightness through the shoulders, maybe through the lower back here with it all. And as you come down here, it's tough. So we come down here, just tuck it in super tight. You're starting to feel, again, that stretch across the front part of the, of the chest here for you. As we're going right on up and down, just slow and controlled here. Slow control. All right, you can go ahead and just take them on down. So again, that was about 45 seconds, so to say, here of just kind of some stretching. And now we're going to take 45 seconds just to stand around and like do a little bit of nothing. They can catch their breath there. They can grab a sip of water. You at home, if you're following along here, that's that chance to kind of regroup a little bit. Because again, it's not about exhaustion. It's about just pushing ourselves and challenge ourselves just to that brink of going like, I still have enough left in me for the rest of the day. I can still go home and hang out with the kids. I can still go back to work and make sure that I'm still functioning. But we also say as well as we're trained with tomorrow in mind. These ladies will be fresh tomorrow. They won't be exhausted tomorrow here for you. All right, here we go, ready? Same thing again there, four rounds, 15 seconds here, 10 seconds of work, five seconds of rest here. Three, two, one, 